Shard, and the House of Four Tall Knights has tidings for you. Mistress Astrathi, Mistress Astrathi, you are come at a most excellent time. An invitation from a truly preeminent personage was delivered to the manor but a short while ago. Would that you have been present to receive it, but in any event. Sir Amric de Borel, Lord Speaker of the House of Lords, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights and Viscount of House Borel, cordially invites Mistress Astrathi to dine with him at his estate. Okay. You seem surprised. The messenger assured me that his lord had broached the subject with you at an earlier date, when the arrangements for the peace conference were still being finalized. Of course, the intervening moons afforded little opportunity for leisure. With the adv happy advent of peace, tis plain the Lord Commander sees no further cause to delay. What say you? <laughs> kind of want to ask him about his fashion. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. What do you think we should wear? I would, but I don't know what to wear. Y you would ask me? Well, I... I am sure that as a personal friend of Sir Amric, you are at liberty to wear whatever you deem appropriate. That said, when in doubt, a man of note could do far worse than an alpine coat. At least that is what Lord Emanuelion has been heard to say. I... I assume the same holds true for ladies. <clears throat> when you are ready, pray report to the Astrologicum. A man of House Burrell shall be waiting near there to escort you the rest of the way. <laughs> it's such like a random <laughs> ask the random guard put him on the spot the guy who's just fanboying over the fact that he got to see Sir Amric ask him what he thinks Sir Amric's fashion <laughs> sense and appropriateness is The first time I saw that Stormblood trailer, like actually back in 2017, I thought the second person was a dancer and I got really excited. So I was really sad. That was actually going to make me try the game. Because that was one of the jobs people have been asking about for a long time and is one of the most requested. So I thought that the girl in red was a dancer. But yeah, she she's just a monk a little sad. Greetings and well met, Mr. Sister Thief. But we did get it two years later. Yeah, like she even, yeah, she did the dancer idol pose that they put in the game. So I think that was very intentional because I think everyone thought that was a dancer. But all's well that ends well. So I just started playing two years later instead. <laughs> Which is probably for the best. I have the honor and the privilege to serve as head steward of House Burrell, though admittedly our staff is somewhat smaller than those of the other no noble families. Being countable on one hand, ahem, my lord will be overjoyed to hear that you have, accept have accepted his invitation. As you will soon see we have spared no expense. I dare say a woman of action such as yourself enjoys nary, nary a moment's respite. Hi, the battlefield beckons even now, I am sure. But for this day, we bid you lay down your burdens and raise a glass to peace and prosperity. Okay. Forgot to change my outfit. Oh well. Always ready for a fight. That sounds like Celestia. Always prepared. Oh, It's a nice meal. a giant fish or whatever it is <laughs> looks a little dated but honestly still <laughs> to good think the moogles would prove such harsh taskmasters <laughs> forgive me i did not know you had suffered so in your quest for the horn <laughs> oh that's nice that we just get to talk about everything that happened feel like it was always, this desert thing was super important. Here's the 30 second summary. <laughs> Don't talk about any of it. Hmm. 
Nom, 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 nom. I must say, your spirited accounts always come as a welcome change from the arid reports which fill my days. Being an adventurer is pretty exciting. No, thank you. Apparently. Maybe Celestia doesn't drink. Or we had three glasses already. I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, I know there's a lot of... There's like three different types of knives or forks. I didn't know there was multiple types of glasses. Tea? What are we making? <laughs> this is so random. It's a lot of jugs of something. Though I have lived in these lands my entire life, to hear you speak of them, there is much and more I have yet to see. Truly, yours was a marvelous journey. That'd be so mean after what happened to Nanamo if the exact same thing happened to Amric. It's like, I'm never going to a dinner in this world again. I didn't even hear what he said. I'm sorry. Um, something about the journey. Um, he's envious of us. You know, you could join us on the next one after you're done being the head lord of the lords. <laughs> well, truth be told, when I think back on the sweeping vistas of the churning mists, I do feel some slight pangs of wanderlust. Alas, much as I would like to accept your invitation, I fear my present duties with the House of Lords demand my undivided attention. Someday, perhaps. That would be fun. By your deeds, you have helped us to lay the foundation for lasting reform. The formation of the Republic is but the beginning, for it is not only our system of governance which must needs change. We, the people, must learn to let go of our hatreds and rise above our bloody past. I only pray that I live long enough to see us achieve some measure of success, that I might know the lost did not die in vain. I can still see you there on the steps of faith, striding fearlessly towards the worm. If you could do that, who are we to balk at the challenges ahead? Oh. The question of how best to strengthen ties with the other great nations of Eorzea has been debated at length in the Lords and Commons of late. As you may imagine, maintaining stability during this period of historic upheaval is our paramount concern. Nevertheless, we are greatly indebted to the Alliance for their support during the Grand Melee, and it would be remiss of us not to repay their faith in kind. Of course, we owe you the greatest debt of all, and it is my hope that in extending our support to you and the Scions, we might also express our gratitude to our neighbors, nay, our fellow Eorzeans, whom we pray you will continue to protect. Oh, thanks, Sam. The Lords and Commons agree on very little, but not a soul in either house begrudges your order this offer of patronage. For all you have done and will do, we thank you. We got money. Moment of truth. Nobody's poisoned. May I ask a personal question? I think we're okay. Now that the dust has settled, what will you do? Not as a scion, I mean, but what do you want for yourself? Mm. Mm. Lord Commander, well, pray forgive the interruption. Don't get the answer. News from House Photon. 
An urgent message for the Warrior of Light. I was instructed to deliver it without delay. Oh, come on. Master Thancred so returned close. to the manor a short time ago, bearing an injured maiden. Master Levea and mm -hmm. Mistress Tataru are tending oh. to her wounds, but they like not her chances. Respectfully, my lord, they have requested the Warrior of Light's immediate presence. You must go to them, my friend, and I shall go with you. Still, it would have been nice to have a nice, just quiet meal with them, but that is pretty important. Totally forgot about Dancred and Alice. For every ending marks new voice. a new beginning. Who was that? I didn't really recognize it. From tragedy and sacrifice, we rise to greet a new dawn. As did she. It's been handed over. A new dawn. Only to be drawn onto another battlefield. Another cause. As if by fate. Oh man, new chapter really is beginning. Like when I was playing through the first time, like I was going in about as blind as I could, so I didn't recognize all these little changes and shifts and how things were structured. It's so fascinating going through it now, knowing, yeah, that like the chap chapter breaks essentially, and that, yeah, this is, because I just thought it's like, more heaven's word stuff it's like okay but yeah it's like new voice kind of this moment of like quietness after all the craziness of 3.3 this is so fascinating to see i'm gonna miss edmon as the narrator though she's here I know if he knows yeah, as, her. <laughs> Is that... Alize, Alfino's twin sister. She ran afoul of the Warriors of Darkness. <laughs> I had been tracking them since the ceremony at Falcon's Nest. Little did I know I was not the only one. Evidently, mm -hmm. she had learned of their activities and attempted to shadow them on her own. Poorly. Not I rescued her in the Twelveswood, and together we fled north. But though I made every effort to cover our tracks, they caught up with us on the Ishgardian border. Oh no! And in the ensuing struggle, Elise took an arrow to the shoulder. Oh no! It was only after we had made good our escape that I realized it was poison. <gasps> Someone did get poisoned! No! Thank you for coming so quickly. And you, Sir Emmerich. Just think nothing of it. It's gonna be one. How is she? Someone else. We have done all we can for now. Although the immediate danger has passed, the poison yet lingers in her blood. We came to Eorzea together, hoping to bring salvation to the realm our grandfather gave his life to protect. But when confronted with the bitter realities of its politics and its petty powermongers, she was driven to anger and to doubt. She refused to become embroiled in what she termed Eorzea's squabbles and distanced herself from the Scions. Though she remained hopeful of a brighter future, she would walk her own path. Would that it had not been so perilous. We've come so far already. For all our differences, she's as dedicated as any scion to the salvation of Eorzea. But more than that, she is my sister. To be reunited with her, only to lose her forever! 
gods even to speak the words. Take heart, Master Alphino. She will be attended by our most skilled Kyrugians. Bear Mistress Leveilleur to the infirmary at once. Apprise Captain Whitecape of the situation and inform him that she is to be treated as my personal charge. Alphano, is the warrior of light... Is she with you? D don't go. There is something I must say. We're here. Yeah, I always wondered how to say that as well. <laughs> I always say Chirurgeons. But Chirurgeons. Again. What is it, Ellie? Say. The warriors of darkness are in league with the Asians. Slaughtering the primals is but the first step in their plan. They make for Zelfatol to bring about Garuda's summoning and to kill her. Garuda again. You must. You must stop them. Now they say. I... I shall inform the others at once. Master Thancred, I would ask that you accompany Mistress Levea to the infirmary. Your knowledge of her injuries may well prove useful in determining her treatment. Of course. Thanks, Thancred. All right. Turn this in and then we can wrap up. Surely, surely they w won't let her. Yes, yes, I know. We must trust in Captain White Cape and his Kyrugians. Did they not bring Astinian back from the very brink of death? I am uncomfortably reminded of how he mocked me for praying at his bedside for days on end. What say you, my friend? Shall we turn our attention to a matter whose conclusion we yet have the power to influence? <laughs> <laughs>